Hi, welcome to this tutorial of uh, Arco Linux. We have now installed in VirtualBox Arco Linux version 6.6.1. In a few days, we have uh, the 1st of May 2018, we will launch Arco Linux version 6.7. This video is an overview of what we changed in these uh, weeks and almost a month and a half. And um, it's going to give you also a view or a way how to upgrade or update. Because when, be when working with a Linux system that's a rolling release, there is no real upgrade. It's an update. You update your kernel, you update your packages, you update AUR packages. There's not really ever an upgrade. Yeah, you know, we understand each other. Now you saw here already in the top that there were updates to be done and quite a bit, 352 available updates, that's what he's saying. So what can you do What when you are on Arch or Arco Linux? In this point in time I have to talk about two of them since we have also launched our Arch uh, vision, our Arch Linux phase, how to install Arch Linux in the Arch way. That's included on ArcoLinuxD.com. So updating Arch, any Arch, if it's Manjaro or Antergos, any Arch, is done through sudo pacman-syu. So update me everything and then go ahead. He wants to know a lot of stuff. Replace GNOME team standard with extra GNOME things. Okay. Normally you cho should choose the standard one. So the Y is big, as you can see, a big letter, big capital letter, means if you press enter, it's the one that's going to be selected. If N was big, then N would have been selected. Now, I see at my download speed, and I say it's about five, six, yeah, again six, so I'm not satisfied. I say Control C. Remember, I'm a virtual box, it's a little bit slower, but even so, I think I get more, get more if if I get better mirrors. And what's a mirror? That's the Arch server. And I have behind this control T alias. There is in behind mirror is a complete line, a very long line that I tend to forget. And that's what aliases are for. Complex things, you rename it, and then it's going to check out what the fastest servers are around. When I do that again, I hope that my 6.2 and 7, 9 are going to be more, faster. So okay, go ahead, install again, and let's hope that we have a little bit more. Some more speed, less time to wait, faster uh, and, and quicker our tutorial is finished. So I'm now downloading at 10, I should be downloading at 20 on SSD. Maybe VirtualBox is uh, in between there, or maybe we don't have a proper Arch server, which is still possible as well. So we'll wait for the downloads to uh, finish. Let's put them here in the top. And let's um, already talk about updating. So this is the standard Arch update. This works everywhere, Arch Linux, Antergos, uh, Manjaro. It's a standard update. What we've done, Control T, with another alias, that's this one, that's something that we made. That's an alias that is also quite long to type and that we tend to forget, but it's going to say use your word to update everything. So this line is the same as a pseudo pacman minus syu that we just typed, but this thing is going to tell him, hey, don't forget the fun stuff from AUR because we have a lot of packages coming from AUR. We need to update them as well. So this line is for me the thing I type almost always because it's updating everything. Update Arch, update AUR, update Arco Linux. This line updates the three elements. And why am I saying these three elements? Because in here, continue, continue, then we don't see any passwords anymore. If we click here, remember Arco Linux is part of, um, well, has three 
parts. So arch elements, AUR elements, and arco elements. And these three things need to be updated, and then you have a rolling release. Now, I have the opportunity to explain you something more. You see there is an error going on, and there is probably uh, already a fix article, which is in here, if there are issues and you find them out, and say, okay, our users will have problems with that, so let's make a fix. Then we have a fix article with a video with it, and then everything is just fine. You just check the fixes, and then you can keep on working and have fun. Now, what you should do from now on, if you see the word keyring, remember that there is a package, which is sudo pacman man minus s and then arch linux keyring install that one so if you say whoa something has gone wrong with go with the keyrings then just try if you if this solves the issue and we see indeed there is a month of this difference that you see so march 2nd and april 4th so there is a new version coming in with all new keys and then you go again you say okay now maybe you know what to do we do not need to install i2 download again he's going he's just going to check skip the download because the download is there he's going to check the key rings integrity and we're going to install now okay so that's set he's going to download i don't know 200 and so on packages 351 packages are going to be installed he says 364 so 364 351 uh, okay he's, he's meaning he's he's counting down and everything is going to be installed that being said here is already something that you should know if you work with Arco Linux maybe some of you have already uh, taken a look on how to install Arch Linux. So that's phase five, how to install Arch Linux the Arch way. For instance, if you install Cinnamon, the way Cinnamon looks is this. This is the look of Cinnamon. But after we've done our, our scripts and theming and all that with it, then it looks like this. Okay, so there's a big difference. The same goes for XFC, what you see here, is has been themed and tweaked, and I believe we are of more than a year and a half already working on it. I mean, all these settings must go where, must be somewhere, and the settings are actually in your .config. That's where they reside, and when we update something, because we're going from 6.6 .6 to 6.7, we keep on working on this configuration. Things that frustrate us, things that we can improve, these things will end up in packages, and the packages will end up or in user share, in which case you don't have to do anything. Like, let me give an example. If you go to the themes, then you find all the arc themes here. Like you see, all the arc themes. So, no bother, it's just going to be installed in your Linux system. But, if you see here etc scale, means that we have changed the configuration file, config, config variety, config tuner, config xfce, and so on and so on. We have changed the configuration files, and they do not go into your system. They are not applied to your system. You need to do something. Because... The configuration files is actually your control H. This is your home directory. I will not write in your home directory. That's common sense. What I will do is put it in etc scale. So this one. Okay, let's have a peek. Okay. etc scale. Nice wallpaper came in from Variety. And we take the scale and we put it here because we're gonna need it all the time. So control H hidden, control H shown. All this information, don't know if everything is in, so let's have a look. How far is he? He's installed everything. Let's do that again. Nothing to do. So we're up to date. Well, 
not really but let me first explain etc scout so elements that we can improve colors that we can improve scripts that we can add anything really open box stuff i3 stuff also open box everything for a wallpaper everything for variety it's wallpapers everything for the plank and so on it's in here so all the improvements are here so if you want to update let's call it update no longer upgrade if you want to update then you want to have all this you want to copy all this go to your eric home folder i mean huh? your own name will stand here beside this little house and then you have your elements if you change something really extensively then you should decide whether you want to keep elements you say okay I've changed polybar watch out I can't overwrite that if I change this or I can't change that maybe a new conky that you made or something but if it's a new name it will not be overwritten but if it's the same name then it will be overwritten okay so the idea is copy paste everything from scale let me do it again so control C go to Eric and control V if you think that's appropriate everything will be overwritten so if you th say no I changed something then you don't do it okay in this case it's a virtual box machine so yeah nothing changed so replace all this means that this does not change that does not change neither does this all the blue ones have changed and that's it nothing more now let's log off log on and log off you see here a strange plank it's quite normal plank hates when you overwrite it so you say okay whatever i'm just logging back in let's not show this again and we have here nothing different maybe uh, it depends on whether you see differences if you change stuff you know Let's go back to Arch Linux Hello, but that's already there. Control Alt T was there. Hello, look, a strange thing happened here. Where is my logo? Something happened, all right. And sudo pacman minus syu. That's updating. That's updating. We do this every day, but it's not updating. I mean by that, there are lots of other packages. And let me prove it to you. PKSYUA, what was this again? Alias. That is Yaourt. Update me everything. That's what we've done till now. With this command, we're also going to update AOR. So we'll see the difference. Things that come from the Arch repos and things that come from the AOR. Arch user repository. So people. People building scripts. PKSUA. And up we go. How many? Uh, for Ferrand packages 58 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 packages need to be updated as well. They are not coming from Arch. They are coming from AOR. So let him do that as well. So he's updating the system as well. In the meantime, let's fix this. What we need to install because we've changed this element in neofetch this is neofetch in termite we have changed something and maybe you saw already the pictures about this ascii code this is ascii code and we can make uh, we had some fun with it and we've made i think a beautiful ascii log now we need to install it we don't have it yet that's why it shows this little penguin so if we go and have a look I'm going to show you two, th two things. Um, so Arco Linux. This is the thermal thing. But we have also this Pacman. Oh, Pamek is a better word. Repositories, Arco Linux repo. And there you go. All these lines are in here graphically. And what we miss are a few elements. We miss here a few uh, packages that we have made that we have created since 6.6 .6. 
we've made for you Arco Linux faces. This one. Okay? So faces apply. Commit. Type your password. And Arco Linux faces is installed. What's happening? We have here now this line here. And we can click here. And we can select all kinds of colors depending on the wallpaper, a theme that you like. Then this element here will change. Apply. <coughs> and it's now blue. So that's the faces. That's something we added. Okay, just a little thing. It's nice, it's there. Now, the Arco Linux NeoFetch ASCII, so this is the ASCII thing, that's the one we want if we want this Arco Linux element. So, apply. Do you want to install this? Yep, commit. That's done. Let's close this up. Control Alt T, and this is our newest, latest creation, our ASCII logo from Arco Linux. Right. Now the same goes for, if let's close this everything up here, Control Alt T, that's Termite, Super Shift D, I'm going to take URXVT, and that's possible too. So we have made changes in the X resources in your home directory. There's a file called X resources. And there you go. We have now two terminals with our nice logo. Now, if people say, whoa, I do not want that at all, that's possible too. So you go to config, neofetch. This is the new config. This is the config with the logo. So if you say, okay, this is the ASCII. And this is the logo. So I want back the normal one, Ctrl T. And there you have back the normal one, what we used to have. So it's a quick change if you want to change. It's no problem. And you just change back. This is the logo. And the ASCII becomes the actual configuration that we're going to use. Ctrl Alt T. So it's always reversible. So that's, that's fine. Then we can have a look again at all the packages we've created, repositories. Arco Linux repo, we have launched Arco Linux Awesome. So a complete uh, way to have an awesome Windows tiling manager in Arch Linux or Arco Linux D. So that's possible, but on this system, Arco Linux 6.7, it's not needed. And Arco Linux VSPWM is also a tiling manual manager that just created, and it's not needed here either. That's for Arch Linux D or Arch Linux. And we scroll down, and this one is something we can uh, use. The Arch Linux Rofi themes. We've created four themes, and lots of more are coming, and they follow the Arch theming coloring. So this one hmm, looks nice. So theming is always fun, but there's one but. The Rofi themes are actually created for a different operating system. So we log out, we go to Openbox for instance, or i3, that's also good. And if we now press Super, no, Control Alt R, that's the one, then we can choose our Dark Botticelli, Casablanca, Crimson, or Evil Bow. So these four have been created and will make more in the future following the colors. So Crimson is red, Casablanca is orange so let's take maybe the orange one if I press enter then you see how what look what it will look like and above here it says alt a to accept a new theme alt a to accept a new theme when I press super f12 this is Rofi so I want to start Firefox and it's just an application finder okay close tabs so all the information, whether we are an open box or XFC, doesn't matter. Repositories, Arco Linux repo, this one, this one, or special, and all the rest can be installed. That's great. Now we're up to date with 6.7.1. Now there's probably a lot of missed, uh, so let's check 
if I miss something, let's keep an open box. We don't care what desktop we're in, right? And well, there's also actually a menu. So help and resources, where is it again? Need to know, here it is. So information about this release is the same link as on XFCE. And I'm going to write the coming days, weeks, uh, I'm gonna, before 1st of May anyway, I'm gonna write the article. But what I've done already, I'll always try to do, so uh, I can copy paste, is this Article Linux beta edition. So you can always follow what I do during versions online. So 6.6.5, I've done this and that and that. So we can go over these elements and I'm gonna check out if there's anything that's interesting for you guys. So to show, but everything you see here, everything I read here has already been um, in some way installed let me think let me think let me move this out of the way so super six and it's half there what I'm gonna check is you shouldn't forget to see if you want this um, support so pseudo fragment minus s urx vt pearls we've installed that in 6.7.1 so that's for the guys who want to work with URXVT, which is a terminal, a standard terminal we use. Stermite, why this one? Because we use it in BSPWM. You will see if you are learning about that window styling manager that we have completely got rid of Stermite just in there, in BSPWM. And that's why we have already, we have now these um, extra packages installed. There is also an URXVT resize from Git, but that's from AUR. So I'm gonna do a trising this time. URXVT resize, uh, resize font is probably enough. So I'm gonna press number one. Edit package build. I'm just remembering something. If you are building things from AUR, it takes time. Why? Because Arch and Arch, Arch Linux and Arco Linux is not out of the box uh, installed properly. What do I mean by that? That we on Arco Linux have a script and it's hidden away on the Arco Linux dot uh, Arco Linux D GitHubs. Every one of them has it. It's also in open box scripts. Use all cores make package configuration. So I want to have the fastest possible installation. So I'm gonna say, please use all the cores I have. And I have four cores because I'm a virtual box, four for the host, four for the guest. So my installation will suddenly boost in performance, will go quicker because of my decision to have that. Okay, so, okay, let's delete that one. And then control Alt T. So pseudo pacman does not work. It's coming from the AOR. I need to try in this. I need to yaur this. I need to packer this. All helpers for the system. And let me press Alt T. Trashing the wallpaper. So you are XVT. VT. Resize. That's enough already. And the fun in Trizen is you don't have to think, you press enter, enter. Oops, not enter, Eric. Now need to type in your password and then enter, enter, enter. That's it, it's installed. So we've done this one, that one. GKSU is installed. We will find a proper solution. When the time comes, we'll find it properly. X resources has been done, termite works, NeoFetch is working, Polybar uh, is updated, but it's because of BSPWM, same for variety. Discord, Discord is added in the 6.7.1. Do we have it here? Let's take Super F12. Discord, not installed. 
So Discord is not installed and Discord has even problems installing it because there is a problem with the lib C++. So easier thing to do is actually to get the information from Article Linux D. That's probably the easiest thing to do. So that's our GitHub where everything is. And it doesn't matter which one you take because um, they all have, so let's take this one. Oops, not that one. So in the AUR, they have these applications. And here is Discord. So we do a lot of stuff in here. And this line is what fixes the stuff that is broken. So things happen with AUR. And uh, you often it's human error, but we can always fix it. So we're going to copy this line. I could have taken any other line. Let's give to an example anyhow. So we take uh, BSPW1 is what we created a day ago or so. Last time I see, six days ago. So we have here Discord. So it really doesn't matter. Any of them is good, but you need to choose. OK, let's take the first one. Click. And then you want to have Discord. That's our goal. Remember, you want to have Discord, console H. So we are downloading from a, from a GitHub. And the GitHub is called Arco Linux D. That's the main GitHub, the name of the main GitHub. But inside, I'm going to open a terminal. I'm going to git clone. And all these scripts that are in there, it's, it's, it's worth money and time. Because it just works. Yeah? No fun. Uh, sorry, fun, no frustration. That is the goal. So unless we have here everything inside all the packages. But let's go with the graphical in Tunar. So this one, AUR, and here it says somewhere install Discord. So this one. Now double clicking will not work. We have to say open a terminal here and install me Discord. Because we ran 000 script there, we will benefit here as well. Anything that is being built like this is going to take forever if you do not run 000, the zeros script that is going to tell, hey, this machine has eight cores, use them. This machine has four cores, use them all. And it's going to be faster. So that's our, um, oh, I changed the gold name. Like so. Let's put this here. So super 6 is what I press here. And super 4 is what I press here. Super 7, super 1, super 3, super 7. So <coughs> we're going over everything that's new. We added Discord. We added the Rofi teams. We did it already. That's this image uh, down here. That's Rofi. We took a red one, I think, with it. So super F12. No, we took also a yellow one. Fine. So that's done. We've done NeoFetch ASCII. Hex chat is no more. Is it correct? Console Alt D. Hex chat is still there in 6.6.1. Since we will use Discord, we say Control Alt T sudo packing minus R. Remove me hex chat. I don't want it anymore. We'll use Discord. And that's that. So we've done this one as well. Fixed NeoFetch logo with ASCII. Development of BSP WM will be a separate tutorial on Arco Linux D. Lots of tutorials. Beautiful desktop environment. Windows styling. If you love i3, if you love awesome, you're going to love BSP WM. So the Rufi teams are there. Four elements for, for till now. So the Discord and Hex chat is gone. That's OK. We have built your own ISO. We have the possibility to tell you guys or to, to show you guys if you want to ha go to phase four, you can build the Arco Linux ISO any point in time yourself. You don't have to wait for the first May of SourceForge. We give you the power to build it any way you see fit. So take a look at this if you want to do that. So we've improved the scripts, made it better. I deleted the package, which will improve the guys we, which, uh, who have a MacBook Pro. 
you will find that the wireless will work just like that and everything that's in the air will show up. So that's good too. Deconf editor has been added. No, 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 we've not done that. So deconf, okay, Discord has been installed. Control or D, Discord, oh yeah, it's there. It's downloading. No, it's installing. So that will work. Um, here is a little sign up here, is Discord. I need to get rid of this. Right mouse click, click Discord. So Discord is going to be our chat channel. Ask us questions, tell us, hey, everything is installed. Great, build your own ISO. It has, uh, it has been a success. I've made my GNOME, Arch Linux GNOME. I've made Arch Linux Plasma. Those are the messages we get there. That's fun uh, to see that our knowledge is put to good use, all the knowledge that is on here. All the knowledge that's also on ArchLinuxD.com, where it will tell you how to install Arch Linux. That's phase five. Forget about Arch Linux, just install Arch. So that's a lot of articles again for you there. That's also what we put on last weeks. So we're talking about the deconf editor. Okay, so that's not installed. Probably super shift D. The conf is there, but not the editor. So if you want to be up to specs, sudo pacman minus s d conf and then press tab twice with a dash and it's installed. So we have this one, Qt4. I believe we can delete that one. Um, what did I do? I pressed the wrong button. I didn't want to press that button. Anyway, change the wallpaper a bit. Pseudo Pacman minus R QT4. Is it installed? It seems to be installed. And we say it can be uninstalled. Nothing of no package seems to use it uh, after installation of Arch Linux. So try that. That can be deleted. Oh, I see already. I've deleted my uh, website. So, information about this release. Arch Linux beta editions, and we're talking about this one. That one. Hexjet is gone. Standard two workspaces rather than four. This is about XFCE. So, I need to go to exit open box, log out, go to XFCE, and in here we have one, two, three, four. And one of our users says, look, um, when on a laptop, it's, a it's gonna be a little bit small. Uh, why not use this bad wallpaper? So Alt T to trash it. So that's just a variety that Git provides us with a bad wallpaper, it happens also. Computers, you know, Alt T, thrashing this one. And we just wait till we see a beautiful wallpaper like this. Now, we've decided to go for two work spaces, which is probably enough for anybody. But if you say, no, I don't want um, two workspaces, like so. So if we have one and two, and you want to keep four, that's fine with us as well, or one, it's what you like. So officially, let's say, whoops, Officially, it's two. Okay, so we'll follow um, what's set here. And then, scrolling down. Not too far, Eric. So that's this one. And then the new fetch logo, we show you the faces, which is this one, just the faces. But new fetch as well has logos. Uh, so if you want to use an other logo, so Ctrl Alt T is now the ASCII logo. We've shown you how to have the usual logo that we have used for the last months. And if you want to change colors, there is a tutorial about that, how to um, get the other colored logos. And that's finished. Till, till here it's finished. This is 6.5, meaning this is 6.6, .6, all what we've done here in between 6.61 and 6.71, that's in here. So now we have a system that's up and running. Our, this is our complete update, what we've changed, what we've done, 
to the system. So in retrospect, um, quite a bit, since don't forget we've made also the Arch Linux uh, tutorials, um, phase four, build your own ISO, which is also uh, took also some time to make. Last thing, last but not least, so if you press Ctrl Alt T, you'll see that Arch Linux has version 6.1, 6.6.1. So if you want to say to people, hey, I followed your tutorial, Eric, you've done everything. I want to have the name changed. So in LSB release, this one, there is this number that you can change to seven and then save. And there you go, Ctrl T. And you can say, hey, I've followed your tutorial. Everything was a success and have now Arch Linux 6.7. So that's, you feel it already, the end of uh, the video for the Arch Linux beta editions. I could already include, maybe that's a, not a bad idea because it's not that much, Arch Linux beta editions. So if you're um, a guy who says, I don't want this big ISO, give me just a small ISO and I'll make my own operating system on it, my own desktop on it. Then here you can see what we've done. And basically we've added beautiful theme for awesome and all the scripts for BSPWM and as well, sorry, and as well, build your own ISO. So in here, open link, new tab. We have here this build your own ISO. You can build whatever you want. You want to build Arch Linux GNOME. You want to build Arch Linux awesome. Then you have your own ISO, you pop it in VirtualBox SD and you install it. All the knowledge is here. All you have to do is learn and don't forget to have fun. So this is our new theme, beautiful theme, multicolored theme. And um, that is probably the end because Arch Linux D is always gonna be very small in the sense of changes. I mean, there are changes as you see to the ISO but there will be always minimal since it is a minimal um, ISO. And I should add a D behind here. So Arch Linux D ISO, we're talking about the smaller one. Okay, um, I do think we are now at our end. In retrospect, yes, we've done quite a bit. And yes, updating is, um, I hope, you, you can t learn something from updating and see why things are the way they are, why they're so beautiful, is because we work a lot in your dot configuration file, super shift return, we work a lot in your config file, which needs to be put in etc scale, and you decide whether you want to have the latest versions of variety, the latest versions of genie and so on. That's what up to you to decide whether you want to update the dot config. All right, I hope I was, uh, I did not forget anything. I can only um, tell you that I made also a live stream. I think it's on this page and check this out again. So live stream of Arca Linux 20 April 2018 which gives us a lot of information about what's happening to Arch Merge because it is going to die officially. First of May, all GitHubs will die. I've explained again here what rolling release means, that there are packages and there are etc scale and all that, about the websites, the ISOs, the learning phases, that you can build your own ISO. You don't have to wait for 6.7. You can install it now. You can burn your own ISO now. Arch Linux, if you say, forget about Arco. I, I've always wanted to install Arch Linux, but never understood, too complex. Beautiful articles on there. Just follow the faces. You have all Arch Linux articles, 17 of them. And then you install Mate, you install um, Cinnamon, you install, what is it else? Cinnamon again, Awesome, you install what is this? i3, open box, you install XFCE, you install Deepink, anything can be installed 
on Arch Linux or on anything, but a lot of desktop environments are just available with the click of, let's make it uh, practical, with the click of or typing a command. That's all you need to know. And we have XFC, but it's going to look like this, guys. It's going to look like this. This is the standard XFCE, and this is what, oh, RT, ugly wallpaper. And this is what we provide afterwards. Okay, let it sink in. This is what you get, Arch Linux. This is what we give you after all uh, theming and tweaking and coloring and themes and icons and so on and so on. This is what you boot into with Arch Linux. Alright, enjoy your system and I'll see you on Discord, Google+, Facebook, any social media we follow, Twitter, don't forget that. Alright, cheers.